Ladies and gentlemen, Miller Live presents Bellator MMA tonight. Live from San Jose, the time has come for the Dynamite. Main event of the evening, five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Light Heavyweight Championship. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Commissioner John Carpelli, Chair, Executive Officer at Cage Side, Mr. Andy Foster. Tonight's world title fight is brought to you by Miller Lite, the original Light Pilsner. Cheers, it's Miller time. And now, introducing the challenger first out of the blue corner. At six foot two, weighing in 204.6 pounds, the former world champion enters the Bellator cage with 18 professional victories, 11 defeats, and one draw. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, introducing the people's champion, Tito Ortiz. And across the cage, the champion fights out of the red corner. At six foot six, he weighed in 204.8 pounds. Tonight, making his first title defense, he stands undefeated with 10 victories and no defeats. By way of England, he fights out of New York, New York, presenting the defending Bellator Light Heavyweight World Champion, Liam McGeary. in charge of the world title fight, Big John McCarthy. Once the fight clean, the fight fair. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, touch it now. Best of luck to both of you. It is the 13th time John McCarthy has refereed a Tito Ortiz fight. Jimmy's keys to victory brought to you by Destiny, the Taken King become legend, available now. For the challenger, Tito Ortiz, get the takedown. Everyone knows that vicious ground and pound. And be the bully, control the real estate, do the little things that a veteran does to win rounds. If you're the champ, Liam McGeary, so tall, incredible range, keep Tito Ortiz on the outside with strikes. Also, don't play on the ground, don't stay there. Use his length, his range to push Tito off and get up. All right, here we go. You're Waiting ready. for the words from John McCarthy. Tito. The fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original Pilsner. Cheers, it's Miller time. Let's enjoy round one. This is the danger zone for Tito. Right here at range, early in the fight. on Tito throughout his career, the stereotype was when he gets hit, his game goes out the window. He, quote, doesn't like to get hit. No one should like to get hit, but it shouldn't change your game plan. I asked him the last time he felt this healthy. I couldn't finish the question before he said 2006. His first fight with Forrest Griffin. Last time he felt great. He feels great coming into this fight. Mentally as well, his life has changed so much for the better. He goes to the first takedown and he's stuffed by Liam McGarry, who grabs a guillotine. Arm in guillotine. His hands are not locked. Peter Ortiz keeping control of McGarry's left ankle. That's what we always wondered about Liam McGarry. Can he stay on the feet? We know he has a great submission game, but Peter Ortiz is so hard to submit, hasn't been submitted since Guy Mesger. Catch a huge question. The rematch with Mesmer was the t-shirt that changed the world. He's gonna try and trap the hand and feed it to his right hand. This will be bad news for Liam McGeary, and he's got it. That seatbelt hold. If he can free up his hand, he's gonna land some vicious ground and pound from here. There it is. Hall of Fame ground and pound from Tito Ortiz is Liam McGeary's worst nightmare. You think about the Randy Couture fight when Tito Ortiz was the young lion. The first time he learned about conserving your gas tank against Frank Shamrock in 1999. There are enough in that 40-year-old body to make all of those lessons learned pay off. Great 
position early on in this fight. I know from experience what Tito brings is crazy pressure. When he's on top, feels like a truck on top of you. Very strong. Oh, good left good hand. Strong left hand. This was the question for Liam McGee with the ground and pound. Are you going to do something? Are you going to just lay there and bleed? Can he push him off? Can he get space? Can he change the script? Because right now, it's all about the ground and pound in Tito Ortiz. You knew at some point in this fight, and maybe it's now, Liam McGeary is going to be under pressure that he has never seen before. Undefeated in 10 fights. Only went the distance once. And that was in his world title win at the British Invasion over Emmanuel Newton. Tito, I talked about little veteran things, little tricky moves. That seatbelt going around the back, controlling the wrist, popular wrestling move. So these kind of things allow him to do damage in his world without expending a lot of energy. Aguirre has pulled off some spectacular submissions from this spot, but not against athletes and fighters the caliber of Tito Ortiz. <laughs> and Uma plot the position. One of the triangle can't get it. That's a problem having long legs against the pressure of Tito Ortiz. Can't get extension. It's hard to pull a lot of those submissions off when he's crushing down on you, and that's what he's doing. Only twice in 18 years has Tito Ortiz been submitted. The crowd here in San Jose has made their choice. Let's go, let's work. Throwing up his legs, trying to get submissions going. He likes the inverted triangle. A lot of unorthodox submissions. Also looking for the arm. See, yeah, Tito's right arm. He might have it, and he does it. Yeah, Tito knew he had to get out of there quickly, and that first second from the escape of the submission is the most dangerous when you're on the bottom. Now, inverted triangle. Got it's him. over. It's over. Liam McGeary has done it. He's Everything going Tito Ortiz's way, a mental mistake. And Liam McGeary finishes the legend on the ground. Heartbreaking ending for Tito Ortiz. A great performance by the champ. For four and a half minutes, it went exactly the way Tito Ortiz visualized it to go. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. I'll try my fucking best. I respect you, dude. Liam McGeary was undefeated. He had the title. Now, Jimmy Smith, Liam McGeary is a champion. Here's the Black Heart Premium Spice Rum replay, the bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core. Went from the armor, almost looked like a tap on the leg. Latino Ortiz very much in this fight. Look at the inverted triangle. So difficult to pull off, and he got it. Right off the escape, look at it here. Clamping down on the head, locking his foot. A handful of guys in the world have the build and the jujitsu to pull off this move. He gets it, and look at the speed of the tap. A guy like Tito Ortiz, who did not want to give up, had no choice. Great job by the champ, Liam McGeary. See the frustration on the face of Tito Ortiz. He wanted this so bad. The first 10 wins for Liam McGeary without a defeat went without much attention. Now, Liam McGeary is truly a world champion. The official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of an inverted triangle official time. Four minutes, 41 seconds into round number one. The winner by submission and still Bellator light heavyweight world champion leader.
an iconic image. Tito Ortiz literally and figuratively passing the torch to Liam McGeary. Thank you. You pushed me out of my fuck comfort zone. I got out of comfort zone. And... You're slick, man. You're fucking slick. Yeah. My first question for you, the champ, Liam McGeary. What did Tito say to you after he came up to you after that fight? So much emotion in that fight for both of you. He's got mad respect for me. Uh, I, get, I welcome her wrestling and I'm gonna be unstoppable. Tito, you just said you pushed me out of my comfort zone. What does that mean to you, man? I worked really hard for this camp. I gave my heart and soul for 18 and a half years in this cage and the other cage, but in this sport of MMA. As I was a legend, or I am a legend, whatever people say, I'm a legend, whatever. Champ, you gotta beat the champ. He showed that he's a real man tonight. As I put that belt around your waist, you know, I'm pissed at my performance. I gave it, you had the best Tito Ortiz. This is the best I felt since 2006. You had the best, you beat the best. That's why you're the world champ. And I thank you for pushing me the way I was pushed this camp. All the guys in my camp who pushed me as hard as much as, I mean, hard as possible. I gave it everything, people. I've been in this cave for 18 and a half years. There's not one athlete in almost any sport that's been doing as long as I have. I give my heart and soul to each and every one of you fans who watch me, no matter what. Through hard work and dedication, you can't achieve anything. I achieved the opportunity to get in this cage and fight against the best in the world. I came up short. My boy Jesse, Journey, Jacob, dad didn't win tonight, but you know what? I think I won, won some hearts tonight, so. Back to the champ, Lee McGuire. Thank you so much, Tito. Your challenger right here, the tournament champion, Phil Davis. I gotta ask. Phil, what'd you think of that performance? What do you think of taking on this champion, Liam McGeary? I thought he did great. I thought he did great. I, if I could say anything, just a little bit of criticism, you're gonna need to do a little bit more if you think you're gonna stop me from getting that belt. I'll do whatever it needs to be taken, man. I'll do whatever it takes. School, wrestling, that's me straight back into it. The champ, Liam McGee, will be taking on the challenger, Phil Davis. Give it up for him. The icon, Tito Ortiz, passes the torch, and you are looking not at the future, but the present of the light heavyweight division. The world champion, Liam McGeary, the number one contender, Phil Davis. Tito Ortiz helped take this sport from its darkest days to its highest peak. And he does it on a monstrous stage here tonight, leaving it for these two and a new generation. Dynamite won. I promised you we would remember it forever. We will.